my non-gender conforming pals. My name is Carrington and welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, then I would love if you would hit that subscribe button down below. So for today's video, we are going to be testing out some Marc Jacobs eye products. I bought, ooh, that's blinding. I bought the 0860 Extravagance Palette. Look, like the packaging is so cool and I love that you just like hit this and then it just like pops open. That's like my favorite. And these colors are stunning. So today we're definitely going to be doing some swatches with it. And then for mascara, when I bought this palette, I got a free mini, what is this? Free Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And it came free, I think if you've spent like $50 and this was almost $50 and I got something else that you'll see in another video. So we're going to try these out on the eyes today. I'm really excited. So let's get into it. Diving into this Marc Jacob Extravagance palette. And let's go ahead and let's do some swatches. I kind of like how on the back it has the shade names as well as like the color. So if you open this up and let's say, I don't know, your pants fall out and you have to like put them back in, you can tell like which color is going to go where. I like that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first shade is this like, ooh, these are creamy. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Okay, it's called At Last. Next up is called I Have. And this looks like a really nice kind of transition brown shade. This is honestly like the lightest brown shade. So that's gonna have to be the transition. Next up we have Found. And we have the one. And then we've got, this one kind of feels like a glitter in a way. It feels a little bit rougher than the other ones. This is the only, and this is true. Black with, black with sparkles in it, and it's love. And all in all, all the shadows in here all felt really nice and creamy and they all swatch super pigmented. They all swatch super nice. I know a lot of people are like, you only get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shades for $49. It's like $7 a shade and they're not very big. Like those are, those are really tiny little pans. And so I get where they're saying like it may not be worth the money, but like just like the swatches and the way they felt kind of seems like they might actually be worth it but we're actually going to test it out on the lid to kind of see whether or not that's true and then after we finish off our eye look we'll be using some of the mascara and this is the velvet noir and this is what the wand looks like very feathery has a kind of a nice shape so hopefully this lasts i'm sure you guys saw my last video and if you haven't it was trying out new makeup and I wore it for over 12 hours and the NARS mascara, the Climax one, it was so bad. Like it was all underneath my eye, all up here. I wasn't a fan, so hopefully this one will wear better. I'm not gonna wear it for 12 plus hours. It's already like two o'clock in the afternoon. It's a Sunday. I've been cleaning and I slept till like noon because I woke up on Friday at 6 a.m. went and worked 7 to 3 at one job got off went and worked 3 30 to 6 45 at my other job went back to my first job from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and then went and worked at my <laughs> second job again from 10 to 3 and then whenever I got off I had to go home and I had to like get some gas and stuff like that and then my husband wanted to go get some stuff, go out to eat, get some stuff. And then his brother invited us over for a bonfire. So we went there and we didn't get home till like 8.30, 9 o'clock. And then by the time I like washed my face and did everything, it was 10 o'clock. I had been up for over 36 hours. I was so tired. So I fell asleep and I crashed until like noon today. So I'm kind of off on a late start, but we're still going to wear it for as long as we can. So let's go ahead and let's get started on the eye look. 
I've already primed my eyes and if you've been here, you know that it's my Believe Beauty. Time and time again, I love it. And I am waiting for another eye primer to get here because I'm going to be doing a battle of the eye primers where one eye is Believe Beauty and one eye is another raved about eyeshadow primer and we're gonna put them to the test. So stay tuned for that video, but I'm waiting to get that in. So let's go ahead and jump into the palette. So first on my E40 tapered blending brush from Sigma, I am going to try to go into the outlash it and see if we can get any kind of like pigment from it. Maybe something for a transition. I did not expect that. I really did not think like anything was going to show up, but here we are. That did kind of give a little bit of color. It's not bad. All right. Do the same thing on the other eye. Hey guys, my skin tone is the same color as white cotton sheets. So everything probably could be a transition tone on me. But I am wanting to deepen it up a lot more. So I'm going to take the same brush that I had. But this time I'm going to dip into I have. Wait a minute. Hold on. You guys, <laughs> I don't know why I did not notice this when I was doing swatches, but the shade names make a sentence. Here are the shade names, okay? At last, I have found the one, the only true love. And that's what it says, a whole sentence, and I did not even realize it until now. Mind blown. You'd think I didn't even go to college. Shade. Okay, so we're going to go into I Have, which is the only other matte shade that's in here. And then just start slowly working that in. I'm just going to kind of start to pack some in my outer corner, although I am going to be going in with another shade. We'll see how that one goes. But this is what it's looking like so far. It's really nice. And that was only one dunk. It's very pigmented. It's also a little bit powdery whenever you like dig into it. So I don't know. See, yeah, you see all that like fallout right there? And then you like dunk into it and it just creates more. <laughs> so definitely powdery, but it's working nicely. My cat today has been driving me insane. She keeps like following me around the house yelling at me because she wants me to pet her. And then when I go to try to pet her, she like takes off running. And then she just like keeps following me around the house as soon as she comes back like, meow, pet me. And like literally just follows me around. And then again, when I try to go and like pet her, she just like takes off. She is also kind of skittish. We've had her for nine and a half years now. We got her when she was a year old. But somebody left her in, a, in an abandoned house. So, she's really skittish. And you would think, like, by the time, like, as much time as she spent with us, she wouldn't be. But she is. Anytime we take her to the vent, it's, like, a whole ordeal. Like, her hair just falls out in, like, giant tufts. She's, like, panting. She's, like, running around. She's so scared. And so, the vet was like, let's put her on some anti-anxiety meds. It does nothing. <laughs> She, and she won't even take the pills. So we've tried like forcing, like someone has to hold her and like open her mouth and take them. We've tried buying like special like treats to put them in or like special like soft cat food to put them in. And she just like, literally just like eats around it. It <laughs> won't even eat the pill. I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's not even worth it. She's just going to be my skittish cat for forever. I like her. I love her though. Except for she drives me nuts, but she wants you to be sitting down when you pet her. She does not want you standing up. She does not want you walking. She doesn't want you to pick her up. So I was standing up and she was following me around the house. So I turned around to go pet her and she was like, took off. Poor little thing. But now I don't know what she's doing. I'm sitting here doing my makeup and I have no idea where she went. So she's probably getting into something, I'm sure. Okay, next I'm going to try Love. It's the black with like all this gold in it from my outer corner. Okay, well, we'll tr oh, wow. I'm going to take like a little dunk, like just like a very, very tiny, tiny amount. Like I'm sure you can see it on my brush, like just that tiny amount. And then like just slowly take. 
taking it and just building it up. You don't need a lot of black. Like, I feel like people go into the black super hard. And it can, like, ruin your look. So just dunk it in and just take your time with black. The sparkles did kind of fall and fade away. And I don't want it super black. So I'm just going to keep kind of blending it out. Not adding any more color. I think the color is fine where it's at. And this is where we are. Looks nice. I'm going to do it to the other side. So that's what we're looking like so far. I'm trying to decide which one of these shimmers I kind of want to go for. I'm kind of thinking about using the greenish shade, the only. Let's go ahead. Let's try that, actually. I'm going to take it on my finger. And let me start tapping the punch I was wanting. So I'm going to try taking one of my Morphe packing brushes and see if maybe that helps. Oh yeah, that makes a huge difference. I kind of do like that green option. Let's I wonder if I can add, like, build to it. It just kind of looks like it's just mostly, like, a glitter. I wonder if you can, like, build it up. That's looking pretty good. I kind of like that option. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye, and I'll be right back. I'm back. The eyes are done, and I've cleaned it up a little bit. Again, because of like how hooded they are and like the creases I have to get into, it just gets shadow all out here. So I've got it all nice and cleaned up. So now let's go ahead and move on to the mascara. I'm going to put on one coat and see how that looks. Oh, wow. That's like literally like swiping my eyes twice and it's already looking so nice. This is one coat on my lashes. And they're looking huge and feathery. I love this. I think I may only stick with one coat. Because it's already like just so long. So I'm going to go to the other eye with just one coat. And I'll be right back. Lashes with it on. This is stunning. Ah. Okay, I'm going to go finish off the rest of my face. And then I'll be back so we can do the lower lash line. So the face done I'm now gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line and for that I'm just I'm gonna take that brown shade I have and run it underneath the lower lash line and then I'm gonna take like a smaller little brush and I'm going to take that green shade the only on it here on like the first of coffee in the top of the lid take this small tiny signet and dip into love and just lightly sweep it along right out here and then for inner corner I'm that didn't have a lot of like inner corner options so I'm just going to take the highlighter that we use which is love from KKW pack that in the inner corner it's like a really nice inner corner. And then I'm going to take that um, Noir Lash from Marc Jacobs and just do a little tiny bit on the lower lash line. Alright guys, and this is the final look. I'm going to give you guys my opinion on the palette and the mascara. So first the mascara. I love this. I think it did an incredible job with my lashes with one coat. Like just one little coat. I will say I'm also using like a lash enhancing serum and I've been on that for quite a while now. So that could also be helping. But I think the mascara really added to them. And so I'm really excited to keep trying this. And when I use this up, I think I am going to purchase a full size. 
I definitely recommend this so far. A wear test at the end of the night will tell for sure whether or not I like this. But for now, I'm I'm definitely liking this. Almost $50 palette. And that's a lot for only seven shades. I will say I wish it had another matte option. I think only having a light cream is not going to do much for anybody, for a lot of people. And then this light one, you know, is a good tone to put in the crease. And you know, if you're not, you can build it up on the outer corner to make it more impactful. I just wish there was something in here just a little bit darker that wasn't this that had like all the glitter in it and it did for the most part took most of the glitter away there is still some glitter that's still in there so I'm not a huge fan of that but these shades really these three stood out to me but I don't know if it's worth $49 for three wonderful shades I think it may have been worth more than $49 if again this was maybe like a much deeper darker brown and maybe this one could have been a little bit of a like a lighter brown or in between brown instead of a shimmer and then just leave these to be what you put on your lid. I think that would have made a much better palette. But again, if you're into this color story, if you like the way that it applied, how it looks, the swatches, definitely go ahead and pick it up. I will do a check-in at the end of the night, kind of showing how the mascara wore in the palette. But so far, this is how everything's looking. And I'll see you guys in my final check-in. Now, nine o'clock PM, and I'm trying to be quiet because my kids are sleeping. Um, so this mascara wore beautifully. It did not transfer at all. It's been on for about seven, seven and a half hours because it's like 925, I think. And by the time I finished my makeup earlier, it was like two o'clock. So it's been on for about seven and a half hours and it's looking good. No flaking down here, nothing up there. The eyeshadow also wore really well. I'm not seeing any glitter fall out. It wore nicely. Um, I just think it overall looks pretty good for seven and a half hours. So I would definitely recommend that mascara. I love that mascara and I will be buying the full size. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.